call him in. Okay. Okay, now we've got uh, Therese. Is it Therese, Teresa? Therese. Therese, oh man, I missed it on both counts. Okay, so you said moving into a membership. What do you find is the best way to have clients sign up and stay connected? Okay, so you're, you're starting a membership yourself. Correct. You fool, you fool. I know, but I need somewhere to go because I'm exiting Facebook. I just, I'm in a really okay. highly censored industry and yeah. I'm, I'm just fighting with Facebook all the time. And I can't do it anymore. I got it. Okay. Um, so the best, what is the best way to have people sign up? Do you mean like, how do you promote a membership? How do you get people into it? Yeah. Like how are they? So they've been in my group, a free group where I've given tons of education and now I want to move them into a membership where it's they're paid and they're there because they want to be there not just because whatever yeah. and so I want so I'm moving from free to paid I still will have free content but uh, most of it actually would like I'd like to have paid but still some free so how do they yeah what's going to compel them to be like yeah okay so there's that and then the state connected, what do you mean by that? Um, like not just pay their monthly fee and not not participate or connect or right. cash in on the goodies. Yeah, I got it. Okay, so two different questions. Let's, let's see what we can do. Okay, in terms of getting them to sign up, have you sent an email out to everyone that um, has announced that this is happening? I've only announced that I'm closing the Facebook group and that I'm moving to something new. So I haven't told them what that is. Okay. So I just think there's a whole education process that should happen there. Where it's like, look, here's what's happening. Here's why it's happening. Here's the logic behind it. Here's all, you know, and I could say, you know, here's the reasons to join the membership and here's the reasons you shouldn't. Like, let me just be very clear what this is. Um, and who it's for and who it's not. And hey, if you've enjoyed the free stuff, it's been good to have you and it's changed, you know, it's it's um, now most of my attention is gonna be going to this. So some sort of series of emails that really does the educational job of why you're making this shift, what's in it for them selfishly, you know, on their end to join. And then there's a few things, one is, so you, you've told you haven't opened it up. You haven't. Nobody's paid for anything yet. No, no, no. Oh. So then there's. Oh my God. There's so much to say here. Uh, there's. That's so funny. One of the things in my membership. You can also buy it. It's four hundred bucks, but um, it's in the membership at the pro level. But it's. Uh, I did a course with Bradley Morris called Pre-Sales Magic, where it was a lot about how to do this and how to launch things in particular memberships. But one thing to think about is doing a. Um, a founding member status. Now the founding members could be lifetime access to it. Uh, if you wanted to do that, you could do that for a limited number of people or for a limited amount of time. Um, and it could also just be, hey, founding members means like I'm, I'm opening up 20 spaces right now. And that's all that I'll be letting in for the first few months. I think it's a good idea in the first few months, cap it so that you really those people get extra special treatment and it's incentive for them to sign up now. Yeah. It's like, hey, for the first few months, it's only be 20 people, 40 people, 60 people, whatever, and that's it. There won't be any more, just us chickens for three months, which is also great because it allows you to work out the kinks and there will be kinks as you go through this, everything from the shopping cart to the membership stuff. In terms of how to keep them engaged, oh man. Um, well, you know, we've experimented with a lot of things on our end. And, oh, I mean, I went over some of them. So the calls, the, the Monday through Thursday calls, the niching practice, community collaboration calls, the copy clinic point of view practice, I don't lead those. Those are all led by members. So some of them, I just put it out and I said, look, hey, for every four that you lead, you'll get a puttering session. You know, uh, sort of on the house, just use it when you want to use it. So that's the kind of trade and um, that's been going great so far. People are really loving, I've got a little signal group, you know, where I just chat with the folks who are leading those calls so we can stay in touch and they can update, hey, here's what I did this call, here's the response. 
Um, time zones are a thing, you know, in terms of how engaged it'll be. Be very clear in the sales letter about the time zones, like when the calls are gonna be, because um, this may filter some people out who would otherwise be cranky because nothing works for them. And then, you know, this quiz, or it depends how much content you have. I've got so much, you know, literally it's probably 2000 things at this point. So I've created that quiz or an assessment that can guide people directly to the thing they need. What's going to make a membership worthwhile is, is it worthwhile for them? Is it useful? Can they find the, the solutions that they need or are they kind of searching around lost? And then the orientation is huge. Uh, in my membership, there's a, um, there's like a start here uh, section. And I'm like, hey, everybody, take a couple hours and go through this. Because, you know, if you really go through this start here, and I'll just show you sort of briefly what it looks like, but I think there's like 15 steps in it, which is a lot, but that's just, there's just a lot in the memberships, right? So when they join, they're sent here. Uh, so this is the start here section. And so it's like, yeah, please take two hours. Yes, really to go through it. There's a little orientation video to start them off. That's like, hey, number one, take a tour of the community. There's a little video that tours them around. Number two, start your progress log. Number three, uh, check out, just browse the eBooks and course library, RSVP for upcoming events. And then here's the calendar of all the events. Oh, I didn't even mention the monthly calls that happen in the membership, but there's these things once a month. And then there's a target market feedback session. There's a quarterly call that we do here. Oh, browse the topics, because there's all these topics and we have 200 topics in my membership. Introduce yourself. There's a place to go introduce themselves. Adjust the notifications because you know you can drive you nuts to get so many notifications. Download the mobile app because there's an app for it. Check out some of the affinity groups to find folks in the same industries. Check out the FAQs. Uh, start with the core content. Make sure you go through the video. Here's an ideal client course. Do that. And then there's a little review your last year. It's a two year work, two hour workshop that um, really good for kind of people resetting where they're at. Commit to asking for help when you need it. Give your membership guide a try. Here it is. Create your folders. This is something I just added. You know, people take notes on their niche or point of view, and it's a good idea to have Google Docs or some folders and documents where people track that. And number 16, tell us when you're done. Here's the guideline. So that's a lot. Yeah. Um, but it's important for people actually getting on board. The other thing is when people join, I send them a little personal note saying, hey, good to have you here. Welcome to the membership. I'm glad you're around. Uh, and I think my assistant also once a month makes a post and tags all the people who joined in the last month. So, to, hey, everybody, how's it going? Um, then also we have a monthly, we have a weekly email. Oh, this is so key. This is so key a weekly email that's like here's what's coming up in the membership this week and then a monthly we do a monthly email where we also say hey here's the new members and we introduce everybody that's new uh, and also sometimes shamelessly or like we plug their stuff uh, and what they have coming up as a you know, benefit of being which has actually helped people people have gotten clients from it uh, amongst the other members and then I invite members to do guest presentations. Sometimes there's a member I'm like, man, what you're talking about, the other members would love. Could you do a guest presentation on that? And we've had a bunch, which also further engages people. Um, I have to get going. 